Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started his week by attending a special emergency meeting of CARICOM Heads of Government, which was held virtually. The meeting discussed the upcoming 9th Summit of the Americas to be held in June in Los Angeles, California. The Lone Hemispheric Meeting, themed Building a Sustainable, Resilient and Equitable Future, is expected to address the Americas' shared challenges and opportunities. Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Hugh Todd, also attended the CARICOM meeting. President Ali Thursday met with the Planning Committee for the inaugural Regional Agri-Investment Forum and Expo. The meeting dealt with the streamlining of final plans for the May 19-21 to 21 event to be held at the Arthur Chung Conference Center, Liliandal. Already, over 20 international companies have signaled their interest to be part of the eagerly anticipated forum and expo. Apart from the global entities, regional and local companies and heads of governments will be in Guyana for the event. In the UAE, we have been able to secure in attendance at this forum four of the largest buyers and distributors of food and agricultural products. They will be coming here to be part of the expo to look at the opportunities. What are they targeting? Coffee, cocoa, spices, sugarcane. These are some of the target areas that they are looking at. And they have all confirmed. President Ali has noted that addressing the issue of food security is multifaceted, explaining that it is more than just the producing food. It includes the financing, technology, partnership, shared responsibility, and inclusion of women and youths. We cannot do this without the private sector. We cannot do this without each other. The region must understand that we are all partners in this. We can't restrict each other. We can't be barriers to each other. For it to be successful, we have to facilitate each other. We must have a win-win scenario. And that is what we want to create. The head of state has said the aim of the region is to build a robust food system. The end result must ensure healthier food, more cost-effective prices for the population, and greater economic opportunities through job creation. The forum will facilitate intense consultations between the public and the private sectors on investment opportunities. Meanwhile, the President's Agriculture and Innovation Entrepreneurship Initiative continues to progress. Let's take a look at the Shade House project. His Excellency accepted the letters of credence from the non-resident ambassador extraordinary and the plenipotentiary of the Kingdom of Norway to Guyana. I thank your government for offering ex expertise to contribute to Guyana's transition to a renewable energy mix. I look forward also to the expansion of cooperation in other areas that provide impetus for further strengthening relations between the Kingdom of Norway and the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. Guyana and the Kingdom of Norway have had bilateral relations since August 1979. President Ali on Friday met with opposition leader Aubrey Norton to initiate discussions to reconstitute constitutional bodies. The two are to have discussions to appoint members to sit on the Judicial Service Commission, Teaching Service Commission, Police Service Commission and the Integrity Commission. The head of state has committed to providing the curricula vitae of the nominated persons to the opposition leader. This move by Dr. Ali embodies the doctrine of shared and inclusive governance. This has been the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching and do join us again next week.